morning guys oh Barney just turned his head hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we are we're actually sat outside his doggy daycare right now we're a little bit early so um just been sat outside waiting i've actually been um reading i'll show you my um some magazines on the readly app you might have heard me talk about readly before but essentially what it is is an app that you can get I use it on your on my phone but you can get it on tablets um, and essentially just out and about on the go whenever you fancy reading a magazine we've got some time to kill like I have this morning um, with the traffic being non-existent pretty much um, I wonder if it's to do with the school holidays actually because usually um, I never make it here this quick but anyway yeah had some time to kill so I have been um, on my Readly app if I just go onto the discover page just so you can see what it looks like you've got all the different magazines that you can browse a personal favorite of mine is well especially right now all the kind of interiors magazines country living real homes living etc house and garden also any kind of like renovation type articles i've been bookmarking which is a favorite kind of uh, thing that you can do that and also the fact that you get uh, family sharing up to five devices with the one account which is amazing now i have access to give you guys two months free of charge for Readly so if you feel like it's something that you want to try out it's cancel anytime take advantage of that two months free see what you think of it test it out I'm sure you will love it as much as I do there's access to over 5,000 magazines different all, across all different sectors there's even newspapers as well there's puzzlers another thing that I like to bookmark is recipes so if you're into baking I know we've just had Easter but Easter baking I found a couple and bookmarked and saved them so it's definitely worth um, looking at if you're into that as well or if you just want to learn a new hobby there's loads to choose from you can also have um, access to it and sort of like download and have offline reading as well so as and when you're maybe traveling you're in the air you get your articles the ones that you want to read newspapers you want to read magazines you want to read and um save them for offline reading as well it's so easy to do so with that free trial of the two months you can cancel afterwards but thereafter if you decide to go ahead and it's for you then it is only 9.99 which i think for over five thousand access to over 5,000 magazines newspapers why wouldn't you pay 9.99 a month it's honestly just amazing so anyway I will leave a link to it and um I hope you guys enjoy I'm sure you will I'm just gonna balance you there on my steering wheel whoa I feel like we're a little bit close actually let's move back <laughs> so today's plan today's agenda is um I'm going to drop Barney off at doggy good morning guys oh Barney just turned his head hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we are we're actually sat outside his doggy daycare right now we're a little bit early so um just been sat outside waiting i've actually been um reading i'll show you my um some magazines on the readly app you might have heard me talk about readly before but essentially what it is is an app that you can get i use it on your on my phone but you can get it on tablets um and essentially just out and about on the go whenever you fancy reading a magazine we've got some time to kill like i have this morning um with the traffic being non-existent pretty much um i wonder if it's to do with the school holidays actually because usually um i never make it here this quick but anyway yeah had some time to kill so i have been um on my readly app if i just go onto the discover page just so you can see what it looks like you've got all the different magazines that you can browse a personal favorite of mine is well especially right now all the kind of interiors magazines country living real homes living etc house and garden also any kind of like renovation type articles i've been bookmarking which is a favorite kind of uh, thing that you can do that and also the fact that you get uh, family sharing up to five devices with the one account which is amazing now i have access to give you guys two months free of charge for readly so if you feel like it's something that you want to try out it's cancel anytime take advantage of that two months free see what you think of it test it out i'm sure you will love it as much as i do there's access to over 5,000 magazines different 
all, across all different sectors. There's even newspapers as well. There's puzzlers. Another thing that I like to bookmark is recipes. So if you're into baking, I know we've just had Easter, but Easter baking, I found a couple and bookmarked and saved them. So it's definitely worth um, looking at if you're into that as well, or if you just want to learn a new hobby. There's loads to choose from. You can also have um, access to it and sort of like download and have offline reading as well. So as and when you're maybe traveling, you're in the air, you get your articles, the ones that you want to read, newspapers you want to read, magazines you want to read and um, save them for offline reading as well. It's so easy to do. So with that free trial of the two months, you can cancel afterwards, but thereafter, if you decide to go ahead and it's for you, then it is only 9.99, which I think for over 5,000, access to over 5,000 magazines, newspapers, why wouldn't you pay 9 99 a month? It's honestly just amazing. So anyway, I will leave a link to it and um, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm sure you will. I'm just going to balance you there on my steering wheel. Whoa, I feel like we're a little bit close actually. Let's move back. Woohoo! <laughs> so today's plan, today's agenda is um, I'm going to drop Barney off at Doggy Daycare. I've got a few like errands to run, bits to do, a couple of post office drops, returns that I've got and um, I've also got to stay in for his delivery actually. His food's coming at some point today. I'm going to head to M&S though. I feel like I've seen a couple of things online on their social media and on, on their website as well, like clothing in particular that I like the look of. So I decided, well, it's sunny today. I wanted to get out of the house and um, especially whilst Bonnie's in daycare, take advantage of his time that he's playing with his friends and uh, yeah, just hit the shop. So I'm going to go to M&S. I do need to get a bit of a food shop anyway. And the one that I go to is in Wilmslow. So it is um, quite a good one for fashion home. Home is my favorite section in M&S and also the food section as well. So I'll take you guys with me. We'll maybe do some tram clips and change rooms. Let's see if we can find any clothes that I like and any kind of like foodie bits or anything at all that I end up buying. I will, of course, I can see all the cars coming in and going. Doggy daycare's open. I will, of course, share with you at the end of this video in like a haul. So I think Barney, I think Barney, Barney, boo. I think we're ready for daycare, do you? Do you want to go see your friends? I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight I've been thinking how I'm alright There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You are now so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah Will you really get me? Fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep Catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep a thought straight with you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind, but why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than I'm just in the change room. That's what we're in today. Um, I've got my HM coat on, it's like the quilt of kind of the Frankie shop style basic white tea, some Lululemon leggings, Chanel bag, and my UGG Ultra Mini. So I've got loads to try on. This matching suit I love. It's a wide high rise, high rise pant and matching blazer, but they also do a linen short in the same material. So I thought in summer, that'd be quite nice to kind of mix and match these three. This is probably going a little bit out of season, but I just loved how soft it is. It's kind of almost, quilted and padded it's so nice and like cozy feeling but yeah maybe a bit too warm as we're leading into the warmer months and then over this side we've got some color which is very exciting but this i'm going to try on together 
the matching I've got leather leggings but I don't have pants so I've got these to try on and I just got this little shirt to go with it I thought that would look quite nice with the linen shorts as well um, and then this material comes in a dress form but also um, trousers and t-shirt again to kind of mix and match and again very very soft this striped kind of tunic style dress 29.50 and then this they don't have my size um, but I'm going to try it on anyway because I feel like this gathered part is quite stretchy so it will hopefully fit 16 but I saw this this is one of the things that I saw online that I thought looked lovely um, again for spring and in, into summer nice and lightweight and I love that kind of blue shade and then this is a bit of a wild card with the colour but I thought you know upcoming trip to Milan maybe a pop of colour they do have this dress in my size this one's a 14 they didn't have any smaller um, but they do have this size this dress sorry in my size in this material and colour which is definitely more me I would say but I just thought with Milan coming up just try it anyway see how it fits yeah so let's get trying on so this is the linen short suit I'm a big fan of this outfit I've just kept my kind of basic white tee on with it um, I love that we can sort of mix and match all three items now the trousers were 39.50 the blazers 45 there's no label on these but I'm assuming about the 30 25 to 30 pound mark got pockets as well I just really like it as an outfit it's a really nice um, kind of natural color it's not too you know orangey really really like this one so let me just show you what the trousers look like on um, with this suit set but even just you know on their own just basic white tee even in the height of summer like a little white crop um, and a bit of midriff showing they're nice and high waisted and they've got this real kind of like thick waistband which gathers and for me personally I love the length of them I don't like it when shorts are too short so um, yeah and I wouldn't class them as like a long Bermuda style either they're just a really nice a nice length happy with these so let me try on the trousers and show you what they look like okay trousers on got them in a 10 regular I definitely need a 12 regular um, they only had 12s in the long though and I do think they would be too long I kind of held them up to me but just across here it's just a little bit too tight for me so especially as there are they are a wide leg fit as you can tell by the ends I just feel like they, they shouldn't really be this tight around my thighs so um, I would probably opt for a 12 regular they're not quite as high waisted as I'd like them to be I feel like a wide leg should be quite high and dramatic um, but they kind of sit on my belly button so I think I will leave the trousers even though I mean they didn't have my what I think would be my best size anyway okay these are the leather pants they were quite I'd say an awkward fit like they come really low on the back so I am going to leave these apart from that from the front I like the look of them they just sit way too low on me on the back um, 179 they are so they are premium I quite liked them paired with this kind of shirt it's a beautiful fabric this one it's quite weighty um, but having said that it's quite tight on my arms can you see there this is a size 10 55 pounds and yeah that restriction there just feels a little bit too I don't know I don't know if I like that so um, I am gonna leave this one as well but it's a lovely color lovely fabric quite nice for workwear maybe actually just kind of undone these buttons here but this is it tied quite tightly um, it's beautiful I really like this one um, I didn't realize as well it does have pockets which is quite a nice addition I just feel like it's quite a um, fabric that feels quite warm though so I do feel like it'd be more this time of year that I'd wear it also can you see how it just kind of juts out where the pockets are as much as I love the idea of a pocket I feel like you'd need to maybe shimmy this bit round a bit so that the pockets don't sit you know on the widest part um, but it's, it's really nice lovely length 
lovely colour. Love this colour so much. Um, I'm going to try on the... In fact, let me try this shacket on with it. And this one I got in a 12. 49.50 this one was. Or is, I should say. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily style it with this dress, obviously. But... Um, it just feels lovely. It does kind of feel a little bit like pajama lounge dressing gown style though. That's the only thing. I do feel like I'd be maybe a little self-conscious wearing it out. <laughs> and I know I've got a load of material on underneath with this dress, but it's not that forgiving in size. So I would say size up. This is a 12. And it's already like, see how it's like quite tight along the bottom and yeah definitely size that it's not even closing properly um without it then pulling at the back so this is the coat um it's a little bit different on the neckline and the fit of the top part the bit on the arms isn't tight at all whereas in the dress it was um and again the bottom's just not high-waisted enough for me for my liking can you see it just kind of like sits on my belly well, in fact below my belly button these um so yeah just i need i like high-waisted because my intention would be to wear this kind of tucked in and it just sits i think anyway for me just too low um which is a shame actually because this material is lovely. This is, I'd say pretty basic, but I just love the simple kind of design to it. It's nice and floaty and comfortable. Um, it does have a little kind of slight slit here on the hem, which I quite like. And uh, this is a 10. Just for the arms and stuff, I probably would have preferred a 12, but they didn't have a 12 in, so I'm gonna have to think on this one, but it's only 29.50, which I think is a pretty good price point as well for it. That's why I wear dresses so much in the like, spring and summer, it's just so easy to just put a dress on, and you've got an outfit, full outfit. Anyway, let's try on the blue one now. I am gutted. This one is just too big for me, unfortunately, and the bit that's, I guess, meant to be a bit more fitted. Um, See, so yeah, I definitely need maybe like a 12, I would say, to still be nice and floaty. This is a 16, 45 pounds, and it is so pretty. Such a lovely new in style, lovely colour. Really like this kind of pastel blue. It's just too, it's just a little bit too big. It just feels a bit too baggy. Can you see at the top the way that it almost gapes a little bit? I am also, I've just remembered, this is next to a huge Tesco's Extra, so I think... Mrs. Hint has like a new range out there. I know she's had clothing and homeware and stuff before. But I've seen some homeware bits are very like white company too. So I'm going to pop into Tesco's and see if she's got any new fashion bits as well. But I am honestly gutted about this one. I really, really liked it. Right, last but not least, the red one. Wow, who knew? Proper colour on me. <laughs> this is definitely like a very vibrant orangey red, I would say. So definitely a good summer kind of hit. Um, I love a wrap style. I do feel like even though this is a 14, you can kind of get away with it. It's a little bit more tighter than it should po probably be. Um, but if I were to go for this one, I do think it's okay getting a 14. I am going to see, however, if they've still got this one outside, basically this dress in that colour, but in a 12. Um, but I just think a wrap style is nice and flattering. Apparently it's like one of the most flattering on all body shapes. So maybe worth checking out if you're after a new red dress, the M&S one. I love the little shoulder details as well. It's not too tight on the arms. Can you see where it's gathered? It's nice and comfortable. I think that says 35, doesn't it? 35. Um, 35 pounds I think is, isn't too bad. Um, yeah, decisions I've got to make now. I might go and have a look in Tesco's first, see what they've got, but undecided on whether or not to, to keep this or go for the lighter color if they've got it in my size, in a size down. Uh, it's really pretty though. It's really pretty. I'm pleasantly surprised, I have to admit. But anyway, let's go check out the homeware, get some food bits in as well, and maybe if we have time, pop over to Tesco's. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice, she's on the phone, but she's staying on. Well, shop full of art, old dreams dying hard. It wants you to return this love. Breathing in the dark, weightless work. 
broken heart He wants you to return his love Now he's bleeding down on soil But that ain't enough to turn the blade He's kneeling, wants to feel known But he's not the one who pulls away That ain't enough to turn the page Leash is off, suit is on point won't cause a scene or start up no clash on second thought then it's about she's on the job but she's staying I'm just in Tesco's. How nice is this plant pot, by the way? This is also part of the, um, what's well, next to the hint range. This is what I was saying, the White Company dupe. I actually have these lanterns. They are bigger from um, the White Company and the tray is more of like a charcoal. So I've seen that people have spray painted the base black, popped a little lantern, not lantern, like a um, pillar candle in there and have it as a little lantern. So yeah, I'm personally not gonna get them just because I've got the white company ones myself, but little dupe there. If that is something you wanna do a little DIY on, or obviously if gray's already in your color scheme, then it's easy enough kept as it is. I love this lamp that she's got with this kind of texture to the glass. Really, really like that. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. There are quite a few nice things. Love these wooden hurricanes as well. I love these kind of engraved candles. There's some more not in the hinge range as well, um, which I really like the look of. This is nice as well. This vase is £12. As for the fashion, there doesn't really seem to be anything in. Loads of homeware stuff. Not so much fashion. I suppose she has just moved house, so maybe the focus now is more on homeware maybe. Be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. Need you here. Tom drives this car, he always puts up the steering wheel. Oh, sweltering. I'm gonna have to open the windows. Um, popped into Tesco's as you saw. Had a good look at the Mrs. Hinch home section, and the fashion, yeah, was a bit of a there's hardly anything there to be honest with you for for her range anyway um i'm gonna head back now my arms are shaking and hurting because i was carrying this 24 pack of diet coke in one hand and some flowers which i did get from the mrs hint range got some white tulips finally i've been talking about it i feel like it's a bit late now but um got myself some white tulips they reduced from 15 pounds down to about three pounds three pound fifty something like that so I've got a vase ready for them at home. I am timing it whereby it's now one o'clock. So I'm ready for my lunch. And I got the m and salad that I absolutely love. I never thought I'd say I love a salad. This one's really good. It's that avocado and feta one. So I'm gonna have that as soon as I get back because I am hungry. Okay, I am back. Oh, builders are super busy cracking on with the um, with the renovations in the basement and everything. So if you can hear them, do excuse. This was what I was carrying. I'm just struggling to carry. I'm just going to pop a few of them in the fridge actually. Um, and then these are the tulips that I got. The Mrs. Hinch ones that were reduced. Uh, yeah, £15 they are full price. 375 they are sorry um but yeah i've been after some white tulips for ages i even looked in m&s as well actually and they didn't have any white ones they barely had i mean they did have some left but definitely no white ones got lucky with them they probably won't last as long as they usually would with them um, with them being reduced but this is the vase that i 
wanted to put them in from my white company dupes video i even said in that video i need to get some white tulips so now i've got some i'm going to put them in here this was from uh home sense so i'm going to share with you the foodie bits that i got from mns first pop them away and then take you upstairs to share with you some home bits and a couple of fashion items i got two first some pasta this is like their most affordable one it's so good and it's quite a big portion as well so it's good for the two of us summery tomatoes some spinach and rocket can you hear them <laughs> some crisps these ones sounded delightful black truffle and olive oil how yum do they sound so i got this last time i went or one of these uh salami sticks that they do and it was so yum so i decided to pick up another one of those this is the salad that i'm talking about I'm gonna have this next before going upstairs with you guys some carrots these are baby rainbow carrots i like to give some of those to barney as well i did actually pick up a couple of bits for him these treat time bone chew type things and then also a couple of tins of sardines in olive oil just to add to his he's on a raw food diet and i think this is meant to be good for the digestion good for their coat so yeah i got a couple of those just to trial see if he likes them i also saw on tiktok about baby bells being super high in protein so if you're working out you're trying to eat better or getting more protein these baby bells have 23 grams of protein in per 100 grams some eggs again that's another thing that i sometimes like to crack on top of barney's food cucumber oh i got another i've got three tins of sardines also got some roasted garlic mayo some pizza base mix some flour for outside barbecue which will be very soon um i also got this this is again another kind of salad option you can either eat the full pack add it to a meal eat it hot cold it's just a grain and greens kind of salad i guess you would say and then i also got last food item very naughty treat i was gonna get one of these for tom for easter because we love the chocolate rounds that they do and then they came out with this chocolate round biscuity egg for easter and it was eight pounds i just didn't honestly get the chance to go to mns before easter good job because after easter they reduced down to four pounds then i also got a bottle of this boss water and this i actually got for our spare room just for like guests to have got my dad staying so um it's just nice to have a nice bottle of water up there well, then i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should i hide about you every time I remember that it's over yeah. You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be I have popped our beautiful tulips that are just kind of like opening now in the um, filming room, my filming room. I've got my bags, brought them up to share with you what I have picked up. But I of course just firstly wanted to show you what the tulips look like. They look so pretty. They're definitely, I can already tell they're not gonna last long, which is so upsetting because they are so beautiful. I'm just gonna appreciate them whilst they are here. So I think I'll just start with the fashion because um, I did obviously do the try on clips so you'll have seen them. I did en route back through the fashion spot these which I decided to pick up. I've started running a little bit more with Barney. I mean I've literally done maybe five runs so far but I've really been enjoying them each and every time. I mean sometimes the motivation to get going and doing it is the hard part but once I'm on the run slash finishing the run I do feel so much better. So you know, I don't push myself too hard. I'm just getting out, getting the fresh air, walking Barney anyway. So instead I'm just breaking into a jog. Anyway, so I decided to pick up some of these. These are the Go Train Crop. So I've got some like workout leggings that are full length, but I thought with um, summer and spring and the sun out and everything, it's quite nice to have a cropped version. So I got them in a 12. I don't like working out in like tight, uncomfortable things. And this fabric is very similar to the Lululemon line very stretchy and quite soft as well. So I think you can train in these 
no matter how intense the workout, sleek, lightweight fabric feels supportive and cool. So it's quite good for like yoga, all the way up to an intense workout. So anyway, I picked up them. They were £19.50. And then I also decided to go for, of all the items that I tried on, I went for the blazer short suit. But the blazer I didn't even realize that I took in to try on a size 18. But because I tried it on and I liked that kind of oversized fit with the linen shorts, I decided to just go with the one I tried on because it must have been, I think it must have been on a size 10 or 12 hanger didn't realize until I got in. Anyway, 45 pounds that the blazer was. And then the shorts, um, they priced them up at 25 pounds because I know they didn't have a label on, so they had to add that one on. Anyway, I also got some other random bits and bobs. These were actually on sale. Didn't realize until I got to the checkout, but she was like, oh, the half price from five pounds down to two pound 50. And they're just these like invisi bubbles, but I loved the colors. So we've got black, really nice beige, which I feel like will work quite nicely with my hair colour and then also a brown as well. And then I did also pick up this hair clip. This was £8.50. The reason why I picked up this, well firstly I like the look of it, but I do have one very similar, a bit chunkier, but it's that kind of gold metal claw clip of this size that I use just to like put back my hair and just clip it there so it's like in off my face but in a really nice or like with a really nice clip as opposed to just a plastic one. Anyway, my point being that gold one that I got from Primark years ago now, like literally maybe three or four years ago, it's lasted me well, but it has tarnished. So I still wear it, but I thought when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's very similar in size. Maybe it's time to upgrade. So yeah, that is why I got that. I also got some bits from the apothecary range that they do at m and and this firstly intrigued me I've never seen it before it's a spa candle for the skin so you heat it up you actually light the candle for 30 minutes allowing it to form a pool of skin conditioning oil you then extinguish the candle flame and allow container and oil to cool for a minimum of two minutes Drizzle the warm oil over any part of the body to smooth, soften, and moisturize the skin, avoiding face. And then, yeah, so I feel like I might maybe next vlog or something include a little clip of me using this and see how we get on because it's really intriguing. I'll show you what the actual candle looks like so that you can see because they didn't have any on display as well, which is a bit annoying, but um, this oh cute i like the look of it this is what it looks like oh my god it smells amazing that's what it looks like it's got the embossed apothecary oh no yeah aromatherapy on the front and then it's got a little kind of pouring spout so that once the candle is lit and warm you just drizzle it on your body I'm very intrigued by that one i will give it a go and let you guys know what I think. It was £12.50. What a nice little pamper addition to a super pamper self-care kind of night routine. Um, then I also got one of these. This is actually for Tom's bathroom. It smells amazing. It's the Tranquil with hemp seed oil. It's got cypress, armoise, thyme and tagette. It is £7.50 and he has the hand soap Oh, it's so nice and hand conditioner in his bathroom his his tiles if you remember from the Renault vlogs his tiles are this color so it goes quite nicely in that bathroom so I thought I'd pick up the shower gel for him then I did also get the body wash at discovery collection for £9.50 I thought considering that's £7.50 you get quite a lot in here and also you get all the different scents you get calm which is lavender sweet orange clary sage cedarwood tranquil which same as that one restore which has geranium, cedarwood, eucalyptus, and lavender. And then the sleep one has lavender, eucalyptus, vetiver, and jasmine. So you get a good test out of all of them. And just try out the different scents. Because I always tend to opt for Tranquil for Tom's room. And then I've got the Restore bath salts in mine. However, I did actually get a refill of the Calm ones to try. Because I feel like Restore is good for um, energising. Whereas most of the time I, ha I would have a bath, it would be at night time. So I decided to go for the calm one, which once I finish the restore, I'm gonna use this refill to fill up the little jar that I've got in my bathroom. This refill was £7.50. 
And then, last but not least, I got this. These are new, actually. I didn't see how much they were because the labels don't have the price on. So let me see my receipt. Oh, no, it's not the last thing. I did also get one of these from the Bothercary range, the Nourishing Lip Balm. They've got a whole new range of skincare as well. They've got a toner, serums, moisturizers, day cream, night cream, eye cream. Feels lovely. Um, let's see how much this room spray set was. Seven pound fifty for three. Okay, that's pretty good. How cute! They all come in the amber glass bottle type things, and this is room and linen spray as well. So you can spritz it on your uh, curtains, bedding. Let's have a little whiff. Oh, that one's so nice for the bedroom. Calm. I'm definitely going to pop that in our bedroom. Um, and then balance and restore. So yeah, I'll probably pop one in each of the bedrooms and have them to hand in there so that is everything that i did pick up from mns slash tesco's i suppose so i did get the tulips um let me know if you want any other kind of like supermarket shop videos like this or any other brands that you want me to have a good browse in and take you guys with me thanks again to Ruby for very kindly sponsoring today's video don't forget to check it out it is well well worth trialing especially now as soon as though you get that two months free using my unique link which i'll leave in the description box below so it's cancel any time try it out enjoy it because i know you will and that is everything for me so i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thanks for watching thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.